Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna talk about all about my favorite lip products. So your lips, just like your under eye area, is a very delicate piece of skin. It's a very thin layer. And so you need to still be careful. I use a very gentle exfoliator when I do my lips, just because I know that I don't want it to be too harsh on the lips, but I do want you know to get all the dead skin off and just make them soft and supple. Starting off with chapsticks, one of my favorite chapsticks is the EOS just regular chapstick. I mean, any kind works. This is their vanilla bean flavor. It came in a pack of two, so I keep one on my makeup desk and then I keep one in my purse. That way, there's always one with me no matter where I'm at. The next one is a higher end. This is a lip balm, but it's also a lip gloss. This is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm, and this is in the flavor Cher Berry. This is $15, so it is an expensive lip balm. But I just love how glowy it makes my lips. I'm wearing it on my lips right now. But it's so moisturizing and so hydrating on my lips that I will go back to this one every time, even though it is super expensive for a lip balm. Next are lipsticks. Now, I don't have a ton of favorite lipsticks. But the first one is the Almay Go Wild. This is a matte lipstick. It's like a nudish pink color. It's got a little bit of a hint of a brown in it. I love this lipstick. I can pair it with any look and it will look really good. The next lipstick is from Artistry. Now, I have mentioned this brand a couple times here on my channel. This brand is, you can't just purchase this anywhere. It is privately owned. It's owned through the company Amway. Artistry is one of the top five makeup brands in the world. Up there with Estee Lauder, Clinique, like all those brands. Um, this is a really good um, brand. Now, one thing that I love about their lipsticks is I love the packaging. It's very sleek, it's gold packaging, but the cool thing about it is, is that it twists and then you can pull your lipstick out. You can't, and then when you close it, it pops. You can't just like pull it off. This is in the shade seven. I'll have that link down below. It doesn't actually say what shade it is but this is a, just a really nice like rose pink i love this shade i have a couple more of their lipsticks but this one is my favorite all right moving on to lip gloss now i love the nyx butter glosses they are one of my favorites it's in the shade tiramisu so it's a really nice kind of mauve nude pink shade it's really pretty it's kind of sticky um which i don't mind i feel like when it's sticky like that, it lasts longer and it does give you glossy lips, but it does has a lot of pigment there as well. Two of my most favorite glosses right now are from Maybelline. There's, this is their Summer McKean lipsticks. I have two shades here. I've got Sun Kissed and I've got Tan Line. Tan Line is kind of a more nudish brown shade, whereas Tan Line is like a very bronzy orange shade. Um, I love these because they last a long time they're very moisturizing on the lips too i don't feel like they dry off my lips like i have had some lip glosses due to me unfortunately and i just love these i love that i can pair this with like a pink lip or a nude lip and i love that i can pair this with well this one's a little bit different so i can't really pair this with everything like i can with this one but i still really think the fate but i still really think that the shade is really fun now one of my other favorite lip glosses and this is from physicians formula this is their butter lip gloss this is in the shade bios this was a limited edition shade but all of their butter glosses are so good but this shade right here personally i love it's nice tangerine like orange color but it just makes my lips look so juicy and ready for summer and I absolutely love it. All right, the next product is something that I recently came across. This is from the company Mascara. I met a girl on Instagram who is actually a consultant for this brand. This is a lip and cheek color. This is a cream shade, and you can either use it for blush or you can use it for your lips, and you probably can even use it for a cream eyeshadow if you wanted. I'm wearing this on my cheeks right now along with it on my lips. And I love this shade. This is in the shade Desert Sunset. And it's just a really nice like nude pink. It's gorgeous. I love it. I love to wear it like with no makeup really. 
just so it gives me a little bit of color back into my face. And I just love this product. It feels very moisturizing on my lips as well as it lasts. This is the only product I've ever tried from them. I do want to try more, but for now, this is all I have, but I really, really love it. So now we have lip liners and I don't have a lot. I don't really wear lip liners. I would like to wear more lip liners, but I just haven't gone around to trying more. The first one we have is from NYX. This is their suede matte lip liner. This is in the shade whipped caviar. So it's a really nice like nude pinkish. I really like using this for most of my lipsticks. Now like my more like lighter nudes, I can't really get away with this. But then again, I don't really wear lip liner that much, but I really do like these um, lip liners from NYX. All right, so the next lip liners I have are both from the same company called Jordana. These products you can purchase at Walgreens, CVX. I haven't really seen them in Walmart. I think these are just two like Walgreens or CVX. I got these from Walgreens. I got two shades. I got a red shade and I got more of a nude pink shade. So the red shade is called Sedona Red. I obviously love wearing this when I'm wearing like a bold red lip, which is not very often. I usually wear it on 4th of July. Yeah, that's about it. But I do like that I have one with me. So if I need to, I have it. So this one is called Rose Crushed. And this one is kind of a lighter pink shade so it doesn't really match a lot of my lipsticks but I think that the color itself is so pretty. I will wear this by itself and I just think it's gorgeous. Alright guys that is it for my favorite lip products. I hope you guys liked it. Leave in the comments down below what your favorite lip products are and if you have any suggestions of maybe lap matte lipsticks that you think are really good and that I should try let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.